Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add the recently recorded story that you created using Audacity. As you can see, I added the player using a website called AudioPal. If I click on the play button, it will play my story. So let's go ahead and get started. To get to your website, go ahead and go to KidsNetSoft. Go ahead and click on the link, and when you open up KidsNetSoft, click on the Google Sites link on the right hand side under hot links. Scroll down and you're going to see the Switch Zoo workshop. Go ahead and click on Switch Zoo. Go to Showcase and pick the class period that you're in. So for example, let's say you're in period 5, go ahead and click on period 5. You're then going to click whichever student you are. So for example, if you're student 1, go ahead and click on student 1 and then if you are not logged in, there's an option at the bottom to sign in. I'll go ahead and click in my District 20 login, and you would put in your student login. Yours would have your student ID at, it's going to say student, and then .asd20.org. Go ahead and type in your password, and you should be able to log in. So once you're logged in, you're able to edit. Now the previous lesson demonstrated how to record your story using Audacity, saving it as an MP3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for AudioPal and then I'll click that first link. When this window pops up, click on Get Yours, it's free. When this window pops up, go ahead and click on the Upload Audio File. Go ahead and browse for the story that you recorded in the last lesson. Select that and then choose Upload. The music should start playing. Go ahead and pause that if you so choose. Type in the email address where you want to go get the code that you will embed on your website. Go ahead and click on Get It. When this alert window pops up, click OK, and then you will go to your email to retrieve the code. Go ahead and open up the AudioPal email when you receive it in your email. There's going to be an option that says click here to publish your audio. When you click on that link, there's going to be an embed code. You would click on the little copy option and it's going to copy that code. Notice how it says copied after you click on that. And you're going to go back to your website. When you open up your web page by clicking on your student name, click on the edit option. And I'm going to go ahead and click in front of the beginning of my sentence. And I'm going to put R-E-P-L-A-C-E. -E, just typing in replace. You could type in whatever you want, but this makes it kind of easy. I'm then going to click on HTML at the top. And when this pops up, I'm going to do Control F, the find function, and I'm going to type in replace. Notice how it found replace. So I'm going to select that replace and with that replace selected, I'm going to do control V, the shortcut for paste, and it's going to paste that code. I'm going to then click update, and if you have an extra space up here, go ahead and click the backspace key. I'm also going to select that little Google gadget, and I'm going to click on wrap on, and then I'm going to put it to the right, so I'll choose align right. I will then click save, and I will click play to make sure it works and I now have embedded the recording or my part of the web page. This concludes the session on adding your audio story to your web page. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.